Number 1. La Alcazaba. The walls and towers that guard the slopes above Almeria are part of Europe's largest Muslim castle. It was built during the 10th century by Abi Dharaman III, the Caliph of Cordoba. At this time Almeria was one of Spain's main trading hubs, and merchants from as far afield as Syria would call in. Number 2. Cabo de Gata. East of Almeria is this natural park that making up an entire cape and the rocky volcanic landscapes within. With less than 200 millimeters of rainfall a year, this is Europe's only subtropical desert, but what will amaze you is just how much there is to see and do, you could climb the highest summit, El Fraile, a long extinct volcano that crests at 500 meters and has supreme views of the sea and coastal settlements. Number 3. Museo Refugio de la Guerra Civil. Nine meters below the streets of central Almeria is a network of tunnels built in 1936 at the onset of the Spanish Civil War. Of the original 4.5 kilometers, one has been redoed and it runs underneath Paseo de Almeria, the city's main shopping precinct. In groups of 25 at a time you'll make your way down 50 steps beneath the city. Number 4. Mini Hollywood. You can live out your western fantasies at this attraction not far from the town of Tabernas, just north of Almeria. Mini Hollywood has a set built for Sergio Leone's Spaghetti Western, for a few dollars more in 1965, and was used again for the other classic The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly a year later. Number 5. Central Almeria. For high street shopping and the city's central market Paseo de Almeria is the main commercial artery, where branches of brands like Zara and Mango are broken up by cafes with outdoor seating beneath rows of artfully pruned ficuses. Number 6. Almeria Cathedral. This powerful-looking cathedral is from the mid-16th century, replacing a predecessor wiped out by an earthquake in 1522. It was built at a time when the Mediterranean coast was under constant threat from North African Barbary pirate raids, which explains the defensive high walls and absence of openings on the facade. Number 7. Proper Tapas. Bar snacks like these are typically Andalusian. To do it the local way drop into a local bar like Puga on Calle Javalanos, which has been in business since 1870. When you order a beer or soft drink you can pick up a tapa to go with it from the bar, and you'll only pay for the beverage. Number 8. Museum of Almeria. The province of Almeria has had a busy history when you see that the Phoenicians, Romans, Visigoths, and Moors have all occupied this nook of Spain in their time. And that's before we count the Copper Age and Bronze Age civilizations based in Almeria's hinterland. Number 9. Central Market. Set at the upper end of Paseo de Almeria, the city's central market was revamped in 2012 and is easily the best place to do your food shopping. On the ground floor you'll find stall after stall of farm fresh vegetables and fruit. Some stalls are worth seeing out of pure curiosity, such as the fishmongers with creatures you may never have seen on a counter before. Number 10. Los Millars. There are three sets of stone walls around the complex the largest of which is about 300 meters and guarded at intervals by bastions. Inside are fragments of dwellings, the remains of copper works, as well as burial mounds, a couple of which you'll be able to crouch down and enter. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.